Wool Ahmed from Birmingham, Omar de Gaiz from Brighton, and Donald Vance from Chicago were all held in Guantanamo and other detention centers during the War on Terror. All were innocent and were released without charge. Now back at home, this is their life after Guantanamo. It absolutely destroyed my life, my detention, destroyed everything. Destroyed absolutely everything in my life. And I think it was just here, on one of these lampposts, when we first got released, they hung the, um, the effigy in uh, orange, in an orange boiler suit, and uh, they had a, like a board, signboard, hanging down from his neck to say, "Hang the, hang the Tipton Taliban." I, I was in prison about six years, some couple of months or something. So I haven't seen my child since then. It's been a really long time. I left him when he was six months years old. He doesn't know me completely. How old is he now? Now he's about eight, I think, and he doesn't know who I am really, other than hit my voice on the phone, which is very sad. There was a massive gap, obviously, in my CV, so people pick up on that. And they would, they would ask me, you know, why, why have you been doing since 2001 to 2004, it's actually missing. So, you know, it, I'll always be truthful to, to whoever's asking me the question. I tell them while well, I was in Guantanamo. And it's always just, just left me. And it's, it was, that was happening for five years. I guess now that I, I'm free, I, I sometimes think about, I wonder how many people are still being detained year after year after year after year for something that they probably said in order just to, just to have a meal but it really wasn't the truth. They just said it because they were hungry or they just wanted 10 minutes of sleep. You'd say anything, anything. You'll do anything. That's what I think about 